Welcome back, Ninja Community, in person instead of watching my quality statement and disclaimer video. If you haven't seen that already, you should probably go and check that out. In this video, I'm going to be covering the Tantra, which looks kind of like a police baton or a side handle baton. Tantra, this one does not have ball bearings, it is a fixed blade, uh, a fixed um, side handle. Okay. If, uh, if you haven't seen my quality statement disclaimer video, you should probably go and check that out. Uh, let's see, I'll cover quickly before I get into the um, ways to hold the tonfa, some of the ways to hold the tonfa, and uh, some, of, some of the basic strikes for the tonfa. Uh, I'll also be covering a little more about the tonfa, but before I do that I will go over my quality statement and disclaimer, which is... The viewer understands my quality statement disclaimer video. Additionally, agrees to treat this video as is with ballistic protection. That means I have, don't have a seal on it. Therefore, I don't guarantee the techniques and or your application of the techniques. And if you're watching this video with the intention of using its content and committing a crime, that is additionally a crime. If you actually use my content in committing the crime, that is also a crime. So, uh, also, uh, let's see. Let's see. The Tanfa was originally... Uh, a, like a Chinese adaptation from a uh, improvised weapon such as a crutch which is kind of funny because a crutch can help someone injured walk this could now help someone not injured need a crutch so but it is uh, more effective in subduing someone as opposed to breaking their bones etc uh, we'll cover let's see the basic ways to hold it are the, one of the better ways to hold a tonfa is this way. I don't know if you can see that. There's, there's this way. I'm going to hold it like a baton. There's this way. Let's see, Let's see that. Okay. There's this way. Okay, alright. So, basic ways to hold the top are here, 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 here. Okay, now I'll begin with some of the basic strikes of Tonka. Okay. As of that time, you have a strike to the jaw and a strike to the knee. Okay. So that's a strike to the jaw, a strike to the knee. Hmm. There's more power in pivoting the body. When you strike. From here, you have a punch to the face, a straight punch, vertical fist. Okay. You also have an uppercut. Okay. You have a wrap shot to the side of the head, looks kind of like a hook. It has more power if the body is twisting. Okay. You also have a modified wrap shot. That is twisting to the side, hitting this way against the against the backbone of the weapon, instead of this way, which would cause it to bend and have less power. Okay, so you have a wrap shot here. It looks like this. Okay. You have a a punch. Basically, you have an uppercut. Okay. You also have strike to the forehead. You have a downward strike to the stomach. Okay. And uh, let's see what else do we got here. Oh, there's also the better way of drawing. 
if you're standing leering this way, another way of holding it is here. If you're standing this way, leering, you have the weapon behind you, not in front of you. It, it is more antagonizing to an opponent, however, it is very ineffective in actually defending yourself and protecting yourself because the weapon is all the way behind you. You can easily be trapped up or pinned if you're back here leering and attempting to antagonize an opponent. It's more effective in front in defending yourself and damaging your opponent. Also, if you're carrying it, and it is on the non-dominant side, it takes longer to draw it this way and use it, right? It's not a sword, it's a ponta. If you're carrying it on your dominant hand side, it's much more efficient and effective to draw the weapon and strike at the same time. Okay. Uh, if you want to check out some uh, sword or katana uh, demonstrations, check out my other videos here on YouTube. But this is a ton that is drawn differently than a sword. It has uh, multiple uses that other weapons do not have. Uh, let's see. So if you watch my video this far, feel free to hit. Feel free to. Hit like hard like a ninja and subscribe here on my YouTube channel to be alerted for when I do random videos. And also check out my artist name under Mel L or my tech ninja name, Mel L, that's E D L E O on Facebook. And feel free to comment on this video. And hit like if you liked it. And not like, you didn't like it, only share my video with ninjas, but not with people who ought to be ninja because they might accidentally learn something. Uh, so yeah, I'll uh, cover some of the other uses of Tantra. That is, that it does not have to actually be completely wrong in order to be used. The Tantra, the strike, the initial strike, to come from being wrong near the stomach. It could even be wrong while being struck. If you are being struck and you allow yourself to move with the strike, you could draw it as you are being struck and diverting the uh, inertial force. Okay, so let's see. So there's just holding it this way, right? Just holding it this way. Uh, oh, there's also. I think I should cover that in this video. Okay. Um, just holding it this way. Just holding it this way. The better ways are here. Touch to here and here. Okay. And yes, it has more power if you are pinned with the entire body. Okay. If it is ever held this way, it is either held by someone who is not skilled to use it or they're actually intending, intending to kill you. Uh, it's better to you hold it this way, the wrap shot is one of the more effective uh, moves that a Tonfa has that most other weapons do not have. Those are my opinions. So, again, if you like my video, hit like. 
and share my video with people who are ninja, but not with people who ought to be ninja because they might accidentally learn something. So until next time, stay ninja, my friends. Stay ninja.